All right, here's my exhaust. Um, it's three quarters done. Unfortunately, I've run out of TIG gas, so I'm going to have to continue for next week. But um, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. So this is the same for both sides, obviously being a V8. Uh, the hole you see there is for the lambda sensor. Then we have a flexible joint. Um, this is all stainless, just polished up with a um, polishing wheel. Uh, you've got the sports cat there, it's a 200 cell, both sides, which should meet the MOT regulations. And then we have a nice big silencer cross box, which fits in the extension part of the 430, uh, effectively fitting behind the original bumper. To give you an idea, what we've got is you've got the exhaust manifold goes into the bottom section on this side, goes along and continues out of the bottom section there. On the other side, we come to the top and it exits up the top. In here, it's an open channel and then goes to a baffle box. In the open channel and the baffle box, the exhaust gas gases tend to uh, mix up and cross over, which gives me my tuning uh, properties for a tuning box for the V8. Um, and it also should give a bit of a raspy sound, uh, taking away, hopefully, the deep throaty sound that you get with a standard V8. Now, the bit which you will see is the tailpipes, both sides. And what I've had to do is make up a jig to give me a complete and proper central outlet on the two tail uh, pipes either side to make sure it's all square go a little bit closer sorry about the light so what we've got here is these two tail pipes are dead level and in the center of this space which you see there on the DNA kit, that's already done for you with the exhaust. Um, I haven't sorted out the actual extension at the moment just to see how far it comes out. I've got some pictures of a true exhaust so I can get an idea of exactly how far it goes. <coughs> so what happens is the exhaust parts come out, go into one or go into two, whichever way you're looking. We've got the 90 degree bend and this is where I run out of my TIG gas. But effectively, that will be a 90 degree bend now and join up on that side. That's really it. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with the fact I've run out of gas because I could have completed this today. But it's just one of those things. So it's another weekend spent trying to do the exhaust. Cheers. Bye.